who exactly thinks the president is doing a good job on inflation? Because we've got a new poll that finds he receives his lowest job ratings on inflation, net negative 38 points. We understand that there are challenges that are uh, in front of us here in this country. That is why the president has taken action to lower costs. If President Biden's top domestic priority is inflation, why doesn't he have more to show for it? So the president understands, and we've talked about this many times, um, that uh, inflation um, is an issue, high, high cost. Cost is an issue for the American people. And so he's been very clear about making that his number one economic priority. And he has done the work. And he's done the work with congressional Democrats, when you think about the Inflation Reduction Act, uh, which to make, which is how Republicans are actually going to make things worse, and Democrats want to do the opposite and make things a little easier. You may have gotten into this in response to, to Peter's question, but I want to approach it just somewhat differently. CBS News poll that was out yesterday indicated that two-thirds of voters believe that the administration is not doing all it can and could be doing more to curb inflation. What does the White House think? Does the White House think it's it's doing all it can to curb inflation? What we understand is... Uh, you know, we understand that the American people are going through a difficult time. And we have said that. You've heard the president say that. And we understand how uh, it is tough. It is a tough time for them. That's why the Inflation Reduction Act is so critical and key, because it's going to lower energy costs and it's going to lower uh, health care costs. We get it. We get it. I know you're asking me about a specific, uh, a specific poll, a specific number from your own uh, um, uh, publication. Uh, uh, and... We get it. We understand. But we're going to continue to do the work. You think about the American Rescue Plan that has helped create an economy that is indeed resilient, and that created that, jobs. They the refuse to help. Have the president's economic advisors told him that the general consensus now is that the American Rescue Plan has contributed to inflation? Look, Secretary... Um, Yellen, who is incredibly well respected, as you know, in the uh, economic space, has spoken to this. So I will leave her words uh, speak to that to the to, to the statement that you just made. Think about Inflation Reduction Act. Uh, you think about the Chips Act. They are popular. They are popular with the American people. They understand. The American people understand what these pieces of legislation. Can you give us a timeline? You've laid out eloquently what the president's been doing. Is there a timeline for when Americans can start feeling some economic pain relief? So in regards to the Inflation Reduction Act, uh, early next year, they will see uh, some of the, um, uh, some of the uh, uh, pieces of that when you th think about an energy cost, when you think that's why he's worked so hard to get those gas prices down. But look, but we're going to continue. Now. What about 18 months ago when the president took office, inflation and gas prices started rising? Well, 18 months ago, uh, the president signed the American Rescue, Rescue Plan more than uh, about back in April uh, of uh, 2021, and that uh, helped the American people. That The American Rescue Plan, which is only, again, only congressional Democrats passed, only congressional Democrats passed, they did on their own. This week the gas prices are still too high, and he said he'd have more to say on the issue this week. Yes. Can you give us a sense of what we should expect from the president on gas prices, and does he have new policies in mind, or is it more of just like a rhetorical... Approach. He'll definitely have more to say. As you know, we don't want to get ahead of, I don't want to get ahead of the president. And once we have something to share, uh, we will. I know we're kind of limited on time, so I'm going to go really, really fast. Go ahead so folks can hear. Uh, one said it was the easiest application they've ever filled out. Uh, it took maybe 60 seconds. That's a quote. Uh, another said, and I quote, I just filled out the student loan forgiveness form in about one minute on my phone in my pajamas. It is possible that the government actually made a form that's easy and straightforward forward, and quote. Another quote, it is the simplest government form I've ever filled out. Uh, so the better, the, the, the beta testing period remains open, and the Department of Edu Education's technical team will continue to monitor.